Hello guys, Tav HD here and welcome back to another video and today I thought I would show you what I have done to my setup. I've made quite a lot of changes and I thought today I would show you exactly what I've done. If you've seen any of my recent videos you might have seen things look a little bit different and today I thought I'd show you exactly what I have done to make these changes. So as you can see everything is now on one desk previously there was a second desk over to the right that is now gone that is where my macbook pro was set up but as you can see that is now on the main desk along with my pc so i will get close-ups of everything and just talk you through what's happened but the first thing is everything is now on one desk i've mainly done this just because i wanted a little bit more room in this room it was feeling a little bit cramped at times so i just thought i would see whether i could shove everything onto one desk and get along with it and so far it has been working out just fine so as you can see i do have some more room over there now which is nice but this does mean i've got to do my editing on this setup and also this is where my windows computer is and this is now where i've got to film because there isn't another desk but so far i've had no problems with it and let's now take a closer look at everything that i've done so there is my pc that is in the be quiet pure base 500 that's the ryzen 5 3600 16 gigabytes of ram and rx 580 build i've had now for just over two years if you remember that used to be over there where my macbook pro is i decided that i don't really care about looking at the insides of it so i've moved it over to here and that also means i don't need to worry about the cable management as much because i can just shove everything behind there and you will hardly ever see it because that monitor blocks your view of there so that computer is now there that was dead space anyway the printer was just there it wasn't even plugged in the printer's now moved on to one of my shelving units so i put the computer there and that freed up the right side of the desk for my macbook pro so before i talk about the macbook pro let's just go over everything else which is going on so there is my pc and there is my microphone that has now made its way back into this room there is one of my two speakers these are the logitech z200s i've had them for maybe two and a half years they are great for the price i think i got them for 20 pounds they're currently about 30 pounds but for 30 pounds these really are brilliant i've just got a coaster there and there is my behringer euphoria umc22 with the microphone plugged in the interface isn't currently plugged into either computer what i've done is i've got the usb just coming out over there behind the speaker so i can plug it into my macbook pro or i can plug it into the pc depending on which computer i am using so a lot of this is the same as the video I did maybe a month or two ago doing a tour of my office. Kind of unfortunate that I had to change everything after doing that, but that is just what it is. So if you can see behind the Euphoria UMC22, my Google Home Mini is still there. Here we have my wireless charger, then here is the keyboard and mouse I'm using on this setup. So the keyboard that I'm still using on the PC is the Corsair k55 i've now been using this for about two and a half years i would guess and the mouse i'm using is still the logitech g402 i've had that for maybe a year and a half if i was to guess both of these things are not expensive devices i believe the keyboard was for about 50 pounds and the mouse about 20 so you can of course get a lot more high-end peripherals but these ones do what i need them to do just fine and that's why i'm still using them two years later the mouse mat is the same one i've been using for two and a bit years it's the rgb one i made a video about as you can kind of see the rgb is somewhat visible if i turn off a light you can see the glow around the edge there and it seems to be working just fine so i've got no problems with it it was maybe 20 pounds and i think that 20 pounds was spent quite well with this thing it's quite a subtle glow but it's still quite nice to have maybe the most important part of a setup is the monitors and i'm still using the two lg 27 ul 500s as you can see right now both of them are connected to my windows computer however i do also have the ability to connect this one 
one to my MacBook Pro. So of course when I had the other desk I used the cinema display with my MacBook Pro but that is just not possible anymore so I can plug the MacBook Pro in with a HDMI cable into that display and that works just fine. So I have said before that I didn't really want to use one of these 4K monitors for editing because it puts extra strain on the computer and of course 4K monitors on this generation MacBook Pro can only run at 30Hz however I've done it now a few times and it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. Most of the time I still just edit on the internal screen so I don't really plug it into the monitor that often but when I do it's really not as bad as I thought it was so yeah I'm quite happy that I can actually edit on a 4k monitor without too much hassle it's a lot better than using the cinema display so let's now take a closer look at the MacBook Pro this is of course the same MacBook Pro I've had for nearly five years it's a mid 2015 15 inch 2.2 gigahertz core i7 16 gigabytes of RAM and the Iris Pro graphics and it is on the Griffin elevator stand so you can probably see there are a few cables around there the first cable here is just a figure of eight power cable I can plug my charger into that or I can plug my camera's battery charger and I just keep the battery charger under there and when I want to use it I just plug it into there then behind there is also a USB that is just the USB for my audio interface and around the other side is the HDMI for the monitor. And they're not actually on the desk right now, but I am still using the wireless keyboard, the aluminium wireless keyboard, and the first generation trackpad. They still work just fine, so there is no need to upgrade. Now, the biggest problem I had with the old MacBook Pro setup was all the hard drives and the cables, which were absolutely everywhere. I've still got all the hard drives. That's kind of something I have to have. And the cables are still all there. They are just kind of dangling down the side but they are a lot more controlled and not as visible being down the side of the desk there and when I want to plug a drive in I just grab the cable and plug it in and that's no problem and then once I finish I just put the cable back down there it's not the neatest of things but it's a lot better than it was and I should probably mention my headphones are down there still they are the four pound ones by one audio i think they're the a30s i did make a video about those very good for the five pounds which i paid for them so the macbook pro being here is the biggest change to this setup and it's been the part of this room which was annoying me the most the main setup with the pc looked quite neat but then this being on the second desk just with cables everywhere just looked a bit stupid so i'm now a lot happier that it is a lot neater and all on one desk. So I think that that is actually it for today's video. Apologies for it kind of being a bit repetitive. A lot of it is just the same stuff that was in the office tour. It's just I wanted to show you how it has now been rearranged and I am a lot happier with that. So I just wanted to give an explanation for why everything from now on will pretty much be filmed on this desk and not on the other. I'm actually very happy with the way it's turned out. Of course I've got more room now, there's one less desk and everything does just look a lot neater. So thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it was interesting to see how I've changed it and hopefully you agree that this is an improvement also. So thank you again for watching. I will see you in the next video which will hopefully be filmed on this one desk without too many problems because of course it is less room but I'm sure I'll be able to manage. So thank you again. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.